In the headlines, Basic Needs Trust Fund signs seven contracts for over $6 million. Cubans begin repair works on Dominica State College and the Prime Minister urges Dominicans to own preservation of Dominica's environment. Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm Prisca Julian. Stay tuned for details of headline stories and others coming up. Welcome back. Dominica's Prime Minister, Honorable Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, is currently on an official visit to Suriname to hold talks with President Daisy Buters. According to a press release from the Office of the Prime Minister, the Honorable Prime Minister will discuss matters relating to agriculture, tourism, trade and climate resilience with the Surinamese leader. Along with the Prime Minister is the Honorable Minister for Environment, Climate Resilience, Disaster Management and Urban Renewal, Joseph Isaac, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Dr. Reginald Thomas, and the Director of Forestry, Mitchington Burton. The delegation will visit agricultural holdings and observe farming practices in rice and banana cultivation, as well as the production of coconut oil. The press release further informed that the two leaders are expected to enter in a memorandum of understanding aimed at strengthening and deepening bilateral relations between the two countries. While in Suriname, the Honorable Prime Minister will address the Conference on Theology in the Caribbean today, CTCT. The Honorable Prime Minister was invited as a featured speaker against the backdrop of his state's goal to make Dominica the first climate resilient country in the world. This would serve as an opportunity to share your vision for Dominica and the region and might galvanize further support and action towards improved attitudes to climate change in our region, the CTCT told the Honorable Prime Minister in an invitation letter. In more news, government has received funding from the Basic Needs Trust Fund to undertake several projects across the island. On Monday, seven contracts were signed for seven projects in excess of $6 million, funds granted by the Caribbean Development Bank. The contracts signed will be for projects under BNTF 7 and 8, which will run concurrently. Five of these projects will focus on restoration of water supply systems. Now, following the passage of Tropical Storm Erica in 2015, government's priority was and still is restoration of water systems. As a result, five water sub-projects endorsed by government were submitted to BNTF by DOASCO for funding. Contracts for these five projects, together with two others, have been approved by the Ministry of Finance because um, in the proposal for this project, it still has to meet the country's need, what is most important at the time. And so it has to go through the Ministry of Finance to get approval to see if that's what is Dominica's greatest need at the time. These needs also align with the focus of the CDB for BNTF 7 and 8. On the BNTF 7 and 8, CDB decided to streamline the categories of sub-projects in keeping with its mandate to deliver on results in the areas where they felt that they had the greater competency. As a result, unlike previous programs like BNTF 5 and 6, on the BNTF 7 and 8, they focus on three categories, what we call three sectors, namely basic community access and drainage, education and human resource development, and water and sanitation system enhancements. So all seven contracts have been signed today will fall into these three categories. BNTF 7 will be executed at a cost in excess of $4.5 million. Under this program, the Wesley Woodford Hill Marigot water supply will be rehabilitated along with the Laplane and Salisbury water supplies. The Pierre Charles Secondary School will receive an auto mechanics upgrade and a retaining wall will be built near the Good Hope Resource Center. There will be two projects on the BNTF-8, the Bagatelle Water Supply Rehabilitation and the Boitica Water Supply Rehabilitation. BNTF-8 will cost $2.2 million. Work is expected to officially commence on June 20, 2018. I'm pleased, very pleased, to launch the commencement of these seven projects and admonish the contractors to work feverishly 
not to the point of not because we have a doctor in the house that she'll be there at all other you know at all points of the contract but she's there for a specific reason feverishly but taking care of yourselves doing the project on ensuring that they are completed on schedule and the product is of a high standard do not cut cost just give it your best shot and the rest will fall in line the Basic Needs Trust Fund is geared at providing resources to vulnerable communities in order to improve access to basic public services, enhance employability, and reduce social vulnerability. The BNTF program is jointly funded by the Caribbean Development Bank and the Government of Canada and benefits 10 countries in the region. A road rebuilding project which commenced about two weeks ago in the Botanic Gardens is nearing completion. Three contractors have been assigned to complete the main road through the gardens and the plans are that the work will be completed by the end of this week. The project advances work which was started by the Dominican Labour Party administration last year when the road through the gardens to the Roseau Health Centre was rebuilt. GIS News visited the site of the ongoing project on Tuesday and spoke with one of the supervisors. Yeah, we started that road project in the gardens last week Monday. Yeah, as you could see, we're going quite well. Hopefully to finish with the permission on Friday. Then tells we have a lot of traffic. So this is a very important project for the amount of traffic we have going through the town in the morning. So it's a very important road. And it's nice to see the Prime Minister see it's important to take up that project as he has continued already, he has started already, to finish it to let easier for traffic. Easing the traffic in the city has been one of the main concerns of the Minister for Public Works. This is why the completion of a number of projects including reparation of the EC Low Black Bridge and rehabilitation of Charles Avenue are important in that regard. Road projects are also ongoing in other parts of the island. Speaking on Kyrie FM's Next Level show recently, the Honorable Minister for Public Works, Dr. John Colin McIntyre, spoke of work to be done on the Eggleston to Girardel Road in Kingsville, Mon Prosper, Coptal, and Watson Waven. Government also has plans for the road in Wallhouse and Ems Hall Bridge. Meantime, good news for faculty, students, and the parents of students of the Dominica State College. Repair works in the DSC has begun. As promised by the government of Dominica, 80 Cuban nationals are on island to help repair several buildings on the college campus. The government of the People's Republic of China, the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and the Bolivian Republic of Venezuela has also lent their assistance it is hoped that the DSC will be fully repaired in time for the new semester. And Dominicans are being called upon to take ownership for the resilience and preservation of Dominica's environment. This call is coming from the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt. This time, the Prime Minister is making the call in light of the amount of litter around the island, which he believes is still an issue and not indicative of a people taking ownership for the nature island. The Prime Minister hopes to remind Dominicans that a country branded as the nature isle of the Caribbean must be kept in such a manner. So when in Dominica we speak about the nature isle of the Caribbean and some of us go as far as in the world, it must not only be based on what the good Lord has given to us. But the question is what are we doing to enhance it? What are we doing to protect it? What are we doing to conserve it for future generations? And I believe that in Dominica, we must not only espouse that, we must not only speak about that, but we must put these things into practice. So we have to enhance what the Lord has given to us. We have to protect what the Lord has given to us. And we have to ensure that our environmental practices take these things into consideration. You know, people complain about litter, but this litter doesn't come from the skies. You know, planes are not flying across Dominica and dropping styrofoam cups and plastics in Dominica. We, the consumers, the very people who complain about Dominica has too many plastic bags and, and cups along the road and bottles, we are the ones who put it there. 
He expounded that in benefiting from our environment, we must adopt sustainable practices. The environment, we have a duty and a responsibility to conserve it and to protect it. But it, it is always the intention of the good Lord for us to benefit from it. What we have to guard against is that in our efforts to benefit from it, we are not degrading it. We are not causing harm to it. That what we do must be to enhance it. Honorable Scarit appeal to each Dominican to make a conscious effort for keeping Dominica's natural environment. If each of us in this country were to make a concerted decision to stop it, it will stop. And then we'll all say, wow, but Dominica is clean. Because we are keeping it clean. The Honorable Prime Minister was speaking at a recent handing over ceremony, part of a plan for implementing government supporting sustainable ecosystems initiative. And that's the English segment of the news. Shakira Pia is up next with Curl Highlights. Bienvenue à ce nouvel accueil, non, mais c'est Shakira Pia. Equipment qui te fait à faire la ba prison là qui mène intégration sociale ba prisonnier. Equipment là te fait à faire la jeli semaine passée en prison là et puis donation ça là te fait à faire la ba regional security system et puis European Union là. Pendant une petite cérémonie, le ministre de Justice, Honorable Raymond Blackmore, dit qu'il y a des équipements qui ont été des prisonniers pour changer le caractère. En opinion, le premier secrétaire pour la délégation de l'European Union pour Babad, Luca Perantoni, dit que la mode de jeune prisonnier est sortie de la jour et qu'il y a vu un accord qui est passé par l'éducation et les leçons qui sont faites ou bien faux. Directeur opération et puis plan pour regional security system la Jeffrey Ford, de equipment ça là c'est pour bas et présenter la une chance pour un lot pas pour développement social. En mai l'année passée, 14 prisonniers tapé opportunité là pour faire examination CXC. Superintendent prison là Kenrick Jean Jacques dit FO là et puis assistance la prison là qui tapé aux différents partenaires, c'est un gros pas FO là prison là qui fait pour faire ces prisonniers la préparer pour comment la vie après yo sorti en la jol. Equipment la te yon machine pour coudre et puis yon computer. Superintendent Jean-Jacques dit il a fait certain ces équipements la servi bon. En d'autres nouvelles, l'Office Meteorologie dit yon ni différentes activités à différentes communautés pour éduquer le public la pour ces articles si la. Pendant yon parole et puis nouvel gouvernement, Senior Meteorological Officer Marshall Alexander, Ba information qu'on y a planifié pour public là, quand ces autres cyclones là commencent. Nous avons regardé pour faire éducation mon, puis nous avons fait éducation, nous avons déjà fait éducation avec un mon qui a qui a qui a la librairie, et puis nous avons les um, Point Michel, pour ben on on um, comment on dit ça, on public éducation pour mon à place ça, puis sur sa place ça c'est une place qui est affectée mauvais. So, nous 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 um, intention intention pour pour éduquer monde contre mm -hmm. ça qu'a fait contre ça là contre ces mots à nous nous qu'a servi pour comment 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 pour um, pour copain contre mm -hmm. one in his life you watch là ça 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 qu'a dit ça il mine et puis ça on nous fait so nous nous um, qu'a gardé contre manière pour éduquer un um, public là et puis pour nous on, on, on meilleur mais façon pour communiquer avec mon ce ce ils ont tapé information là et puis finalement ministre éducation là qui administre examination là pour sixième classe à l'école première ou en pays là examination ça là qui pour la jeudi et puis vendredi si bien ça là l'année ça là 900 et puis 65 étudiants 475 filles et puis 400 et puis 90 garçons qui point examination là numéro ça là tombé par 3 pour ça l'année ça là quand l'année passée, yon 1010 étudiants ont pour examination ça là. Examination là qui commencé à 8h en 52 centres en pays là. 
À ce premier jour-là, ces étudiants-là qui font Language Arts et puis Social Studies et puis Mathematics et puis Science, deuxième jour-là. L'examination-là, c'est poussé des semaines pour faciliter ces écoles primaires-là qui étaient pourtant quand ils ont un résultat au cycle de Maria en septembre l'année 2017. Ça, c'est tout pour nouvelle accueil. Non, mais c'est chaque européen. Au revoir. That's all for this edition of National Focus. Be sure to follow GIS on Facebook.com forward slash GIS News Dominica and follow us on Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News Production team, I'm Prisca Julian. Thanks for watching.